This Korean influencer joins a live stream and the interaction goes sideways. Yeah, we got to talk about this because this has 40,000 comments on the internet, guys. No matter how silly we're, you know, it seems on the surface level, clearly it is causing some major, major engagement and controversy. Long story short, uh, Gemini Jury is a streamer. She joins these two Latina girls stream from Dallas and everything just goes crazy. Let's run the clip. Hola. Hello. Como estas? Can you speak English? You don't sound fluent. Uh, a little bit. You don't sound little bit. You don't sound fluent in Spanish. So, so why did you um ex or join us? No. We don't want to battle you. Me? Yeah, you. Okay. Okay. Bye. all right everybody if you're ready for us to break down what the comment sections say and also our own takeaways then please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pop boys uh david uh in general I just feel like it got off to a weird start. Yeah. I mean, I think she enters the girl's stream, says, hola, como estas? The girls, they're sort of like thrown off by that. That is definitely a weird way to start the interaction, a bit of something. It kind of snowballs from there. They're getting catty. They're firing shots back and forth. It's awkward. It's cringe. But then it ends off with the girls in Dallas doing the eye pull. Yeah, in my, I, I would say both parties are at some fault. I think that the percentages are different. I think that one side is more at fault and ended off the interaction in the worst way that they could or one of the worst ways. However, I mean, you know, Jumping into different streams. I think when you meet random people and you have open streams and you're joining streams, I just think you have to assume that some of the interactions are going to go very well. I feel like that world is like that. Yeah. When you when you look at Omegle clips or you look at, I mean, I think different platforms have different reputations, but it just seems like I've seen a lot of these in modern day 2023. I don't know. I, for some reason, they were calling it like a battle. I don't know what type of battle this is because I think the tone of the battle is a rap battle or a roast battle where you just get at each other. But anyways, guys, moral of the story is don't pull your eyes back on the internet. It's the wrong move because you will, the internet will come after you. Uh, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, I thought the odds are desired in 2023. So why are people using it to mock people? And why are people being ashamed of their own features? I just don't really understand it. Yeah, this one's really out. Uh, 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 the jury's out on this one where it's like, are the eyes attractive or not? Because a lot of models in the fashion world, they try to do the fox eyes, but that's for like a fashion reason. And also, uh, are the fox eyes only good on Western people who don't normally have fox eyes? But if right. you're naturally born with fox eyes, then it's, it's not cool. I just think the eye thing always reminds people of how... America sees us as perpetual foreigners and as aliens. And it's like, no matter what you do, you know, Gemini Jerry, you could be this pretty girl, Korean, rich, uh, whatever, right? Twitch uh, streamer, whatever, but you're still got a chinky face. No, you know? it feels like sometimes, and I'm not saying for sure this happened in this interaction, but it feels like it when somebody is losing an interaction and it's interracial with the Asian, the final thing could be like basically like you're a whack Asian. Yeah. Like that, and that ends it. No, like, no like, matter, even if you were beating me the whole time, I can no. pull this out. And it's like, yeah, but at least I'm not a whack Asian. Yeah, just you're Asian. And that's just bad. That's how it felt. I'm not saying she meant it fully like that when she did that. I'm just saying that's how it felt. And I think that that's why those girls got flamed. Um, some people said too much. Some people said the right amount. Anyway, you guys let us know in the comment section. Um, somebody said racism is usually parenting most of the time and some people sink more into it as they get older but other people regret it as they get older and grow out of racism mm -hmm. yeah uh, somebody said we should all have to join the military because this person that you hate is going to risk their life for you even more than some of your best high school buddies so that's what's going to break down racism i think what this person's alluding to is that a lot of americans are not united by really any single common goal and this is what people are saying when they're like oh there's no more war in the world so no war can't unite all the men and, and women in this country under one goal you know because we don't have a common enemy and uh i don't know it's like a really complicated question but i I do think that uh, that there's just not enough bonding agents here. Yeah. Also, I would say that who's to say that if you didn't put them in a room for a few hours that they wouldn't be able to make up 
like adults you know what i mean it's, but it's just like the way the interactions go on the internet they end at sort of this low point and then they get extrapolated well, i'm not gonna lie i mean gemini she's recording the stream she's looking for interesting interactions and uh i guess she got one for sure there are a lot of unspoken aspects to this somebody said and this is probably the comment i saw the most andrew they were probably jealous because of how much prettier she was her webcam was better she looks better Everything about her is better. So these other girls in Dallas were jealous of her. I tell, I, in my opinion, Andrew, power dynamics, whether spoken or unspoken, always come into play. Whether we're talking about looks, power dynamics, which is huge for women, racial power dynamics, socioeconomic power dynamics, educational dynamics. There are a lot of dynamics that make up a reason pizza. There's a lot of slices. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, uh, mocking is usually due to internal security, but also maybe some people are just mean spirited and think it's fun. Yeah, I mean, I would say in different cultures, perhaps teasing about stuff is more acceptable. You know mm. what I mean? Like, why, why you should- Talk to Andrew, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge this. I used to live in LA and I, I feel like, like Latinos in general, I can't say a specific group of Latinos, but like, they like to joke. And I really don't think it's mean-spirited when they do that. Now, this girl, it had a tinge of mean spirit, but I'm just saying, like, people do joke around. But since they're, they're not established friends or on a team together, I think it's different, so it was kind of wrong. Somebody says, it was totally the Korean girl's fault for entering their live stream and speaking Spanish to open it up. It mm. really got the whole interaction off on a wrong foot, and of course, it snowballed. Ultimately, the, the, the Latina girls were more wrong, but they both were wrong. Yeah, I think this whole stream of comments here is kind of like pointing out how... Uh, the Korean streamer entered their chat and then kind of started off with a weird phrase and then they and then she didn't leave and then like I, I no like I said there is blame to go around actually Andrew this thing got so big that both parties have already issued reaction videos wow. uh, the girls in Dallas the Latina girls they issued an apology video but also Gemini jury she had to make a video explaining why she opened up in Spanish so clearly like I said silly thing but somehow we're all in the principal's office and in the court of public opinion we're all privy to all this things playing out somebody said they both just want Cloudin to be famous man nowadays everybody will do everything even if it's divisive racially god everybody just wants to get clout I hate 2023 <laughs> it's true it's true man it's true and listen I didn't fully want to make this video but we're talking about this not because I just want to get like cl your clicks because you're going to click out in like 10 seconds if you don't see Gemini Jerry pop up. But basically, I want to talk about this video to have an actual conversation about it and to add value to the convo and not just leave and just like go uh, on one side or the other. Somebody said, man, all this news nowadays, all this playground stuff, why is this even news and going viral, man? This is just dividing us as a country when we need to be coming together. Wow. I mean, I definitely think... Is both. It's yes and no because obviously, think about it, Andrew. The news outlets, if they see 40,000 comments on the engagement section, that's newsworthy by the amount of people who want to deem it newsworthy. However, you could also say, why are we posting the most playground, juvenile, middle school tier reactions and then having this divide people emotionally? You know what a lot of people are forgetting is that the internet is global. It's global now. You're, there is no American internet. Right, because a lot of people speak English at an, a fluent enough level to consume American internet yeah. in 2023. The internet does not cut off on America, American borders. Like, you don't just leave the coast of LA and then it just shuts off. No. Somebody said, "There's this is just the movie Idiocracy at play, man. These two girls are going to have a bunch of kids get stuck in the middle of nowhere and this Korean streamer girl is a rich and going to be a doctor and she's pretty. This is the downfall of America. Mm. And somebody said, well, clearly I don't agree with you, but there's certainly some class warfare here at play. I mean, um, yeah, I do think there was a lot of power dynamics, like I said to my previous point, that go unspoken because they're too difficult or people cannot articulate them, mm. but they're certainly here at play. Uh, Someone blamed it on them being from Texas. Texas is known for basically excusing narrow-mindedness. But the thing is, the South Korean internet is absolutely relentless. So, basically, these girls did get a lot of online bullying afterwards, especially, I believe her name was Isabella. She is. She also has a baby. So, you know, she's out trying to live her life, but now she got all this heat on the internet for making a stupid gesture that she should have never made, but it may have been... Maybe maybe she didn't deserve every ounce of flame that she got. For sure. Let's be honest, guys. The internet is going to overreact, especially defending Gemini Jury, yeah. for a lot of reasons. Probably because how she's looks, she's Korean. You know what I mean? There's so many reasons that go into this, guys. Um, 
Somebody said, you know, I'm Central and South American myself, and I have to admit, we tease and insult and mock people for things that are considered un-PC in America. We call fat guys gordo, we call fat women gordas, but if they were able to crack open some whiskey or tequila together, they could become friends if they had enough time together. Yeah, yeah, and here's the thing. They're not friends, so that's why it's wrong, but I do understand I've seen friend groups that I've seen even Asian friend groups, namely... My Filipino and Vietnamese friends go at each other, girl versus guy, teasing them about all types of stuff that would be considered very PG-13, if not R-related. Right. For certainly, it varies culture to culture. Some people joke about things that would be considered off limits of of people of another culture. It's friend group to friend group, but the the truth is they are not friends yet. So then, therefore, you, you can't have that in play. All right, guys. I'm sure we could go through all 40,000 internet comments. I do not want to. Let's just get to our final takeaways, Andrew. Why is something as silly as this getting 40,000 comments of engagement? Because there is way, 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 way bigger stuff happening on the earth and the planet, even the Asian community, than to focus on this. But this gets all the attention. You know, it's different. If it, if these were different characters in this situation and it happened somewhere else in a different context, like in real life, like not over the internet, then I think the internet's reaction is even different. But since this was on a platform, which I'm actually not sure which platform was is it is, whether it was TikTok or Omegle, but it was like, it's on a platform that a lot of young people people use so now they feel like oh my gosh are these the type of interactions i can expect as an asian person moving forward now the truth is if you meet enough random people yes you will have interactions like this a hundred percent you know what i mean and so you have to if you are going to put yourself out there you have to have thick skin that's like us who used to do the videos like a man on the street interviews we used to interview random people on the street sometimes some people would turn us down or some people would wild out at us we had a guy who almost try to smash our camera one time because he didn't want to be on camera. I just had, I just had this guy the other day who was like, said he wanted to fight me because he thought I was filming him. So I'm saying like, we have to just, if you, if we're carrying a camera around and you're meeting random people and you're recording stuff, you have to be thick skinned. By the way, that guy who tried to smash our cameras was just in the background. We were not recording. Right. We I want to be clear. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah, what I'm saying is people, may react you don't know how people are going to react yeah i would say long story short to sum up this micro interaction between gemini jury and the girls in dallas i would say the girls in dallas were 60 to 70 percent at fault gemini jury was 30 percent at fault but because the court of public opinion was so heavily weighted on gemini jury side i would say the other girls took 100 percent of the l or yeah. maybe 95 percent yeah yeah so i think there's a lot of dynamics that play into why that is though for sure like, For sure. like, like, who does the internet like more? Who is prettier? Who is more powerful? Obviously, like I said, anytime you make it racial, though, you lose the moral, the moral ground. It's true. The internet is, for the most part, against racism, which I do think, and, and, and the silver lining of all this, you know, I don't think that they deserved all the hate that they got, all the backlash, but uh, I don't think she's going to be pulling back her eyes again. Yeah. I do, think, I do not think she will ever do that again, ever, maybe, to anybody, at least on camera anyway let us know what you think in the comment section below guys let us know one do you think this is newsworthy or just just some internet stuff let us know what you think of it and uh let us know what you think of our analysis keep it civil until next time with hot pot boys we out peace Peace.